and welcome back to Viewpoints. I'm Lauren Wollman. I'm joined now by Lieutenant Colonel Tom Remfer of the Arizona Air National Guard, another very recent uh, graduate of the CHGS Master's Program, and the winner of the Outstanding Thesis Award. Welcome, Tom. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, the title of your thesis, The Anthrax Vaccine, A Dilemma for Homeland Security, uh, clearly a topic of uh, very special interest to most of the American public. Can you describe um, what the origins, the genesis of this pr research project were? Yes, Lauren, in addition to the American public, uh, for many years it's been of interest to service members because service members had a uh, mandatory anthrax inoculation program for many years. So uh, interestingly, when I first began uh, the graduate program uh, about the same time in August of 2008, uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigation actually came out with the conclusion that the failing status of the anthrax vaccine program in the 2001 timeframe actually led to uh, the anthrax letter attacks, uh, possibly to attempt to create a demand for the vaccine. So at that point, I anticipated that there would be a reevaluation of the program. Um, it didn't appear to occur, and instead there was actually an accelerated procurement for the strategic national stockpile. And that affects American citizens, and that affects the Department of Homeland Security uh, based on their requirement to uh, review the composition of the stockpile. And how were you able to test this? What, what methodology did you use for this research? I believed it was important to look at it from many different angles, so I actually chose uh, four different methodologies. Uh, I began with a literature review uh, in order to look at the body of literature over the past literally 50 years uh, of use of the vaccine. And an interesting uh, realization from that review showed that there was a shift uh, around the 1998 timeframe in the medical literature and uh, effectively the previous uh, conclusions were generally that the vaccine had problems, and then after the Department of Defense's experience with the vaccine began, uh, the literature became generally more positive. I thought that was interesting. Uh, as well, I used a case study. Uh, and in the case study, uh, I discovered that uh, similar to the conclusions of my thesis, that the vaccines uh, inclusion in the strategic national stockpile should be reviewed. That's essentially what the Department of Defense uh, prior to the 2000 timeframe uh, agreed with. They believed that uh, we needed a new vaccine. Uh, after uh, the anthrax letter attacks, after the accelerated procurement of the vaccine for the strategic national stockpile, and the resumption of the Department of Defense's program, uh, then there was a generally a more positive uh, evaluation of the vaccine. So I also looked at a program evaluation to try to analyze uh, uh, the regulatory, uh, the scientific, uh, some of the oversight issues, uh, executive uh, review, legislative review, and judicial review with regard to the vaccine. And then finally, I tried to look at a, a gap analysis in order to explain perhaps why, after the FBI revelations in 2008, uh, the government didn't go back and uh, review the program altogether. And what is the upshot of all this? What, what were you able to conclude? My contention in the thesis, based on those methodologies, is that the inclusion of the vaccine in the strategic national stockpile should be reviewed, particularly because antibiotics are fully effective uh, in uh, combating the most lethal form of the disease, the inhaled anthrax infection. Uh, but as well, and I think most importantly, all I'm really asking is that uh, we take a second look at the issue. Uh, that we have the Department of Homeland uh, Security uh, take a look at the Homeland Security uh, presidential directives requiring them to annually review the composition of the strategic national stockpile. Uh, and as well, in this spirit of just uh, looking at the issue again, uh, suggesting a presidential uh, study directive uh, followed by a presidential uh, policy directive depending on what the study concludes. So bottom line, just asking that the government uh, relook at the issue, particularly in light of the FBI's findings. Those are quite devastating conclusions. What, 
um, do you imagine the policy implications to be, the repercussions politically? The information that I've laid out has been out there for many years. Uh, the congressional report of uh, the 2000 time frame essentially said the same thing. Uh, a Senate report back in 1997 said the exact same thing. Um, the uh, administration, the previous administration, recommended minimizing the use of the vaccine uh, as of August of 2001, just prior to the anthrax letter attacks. So these conclusions are not new. Um, I do hope that uh, a renewed look uh, at the issue would be a positive output from the thesis. Especially considering your service in the National Guard, this is tremendously important to the troops who are serving abroad as well, yeah? It is. Uh, it, the vaccine continues to be mandatory uh, for the service members. They're serving uh, abroad in certain locations. And so it is important to service members that they're given uh, the highest of quality uh, medical countermeasures uh, for these type of threats. What should the average American take away from this kind of research? I think the most positive uh, aspect of this entire exercise for me has been that as a service member, uh, I have been uh, allowed to do this kind of research. Uh, that the Naval Postgraduate School and the Center for Homeland Defense and Security uh, has uh, supported that uh, intellectual process. I think that's the most important thing, that uh, when we see that there are potential problems, that uh, our system of government uh, and, and frankly, um, our educational institutions encourage us to do these kinds of resurveying of, of past judgments. True academic inquiry. I hope so. Tom, congratulations on your achievements. Uh, thank you for your service, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lauren.